I was an impressionable 19, 20 year old when I had some of my formative experiences working in hospitals. I had not seen such incredible pain before and people whose lives were wasting away from mental illnesses we knew very little about and as a young person I found myself very moved by it. What we're hoping to do in our clinic and in our research is have to eventually develop a roadmap for a treatment protocol for adolescents and kids with bipolar disorder. For many years we've been testing a treatment called family focused therapy. The idea is that the combination of family intervention and medication is going to work better than medication alone. Our current most significant effort right now is to try to see if we can prevent the onset of bipolar disorder in kids who are genetically at risk. So what we're interested in now is intervening early with family intervention, family focused therapy, to try to determine if we can stave off the onset of the disorder or at least make it less severe when it does occur. What I'm trying to offer families are a set of skills for coping with the disorder. And what I'm trying to offer the patient is an understanding of what he or she has and how it impacts the family. I'm very grateful to be getting this award. Uh, I think what it will allow us to do is go a step further with our research on high-risk kids. It may allow us to measure certain outcomes that we wouldn't measure otherwise and certain family processes. It will enrich, enliven the research that we're doing. <laughs>